Now, cost effectiveness and related benefits of online learning remain somewhat limited in Ghana. However, the Chartered Institute of Bankers Ghana believes distance should not be a barrier to learning and measures designed should be cost effective for students. Ebeneji Kumbwating has more in the following report. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to increased use of the internet, online shopping, online learning, and working from home via the internet. Today, my quest is to look at online learning from the perspective of the teacher. COVID-19 has resulted in schools shut all across the world. As a result, education has changed dramatically with the distinctive rise in e-learning where teaching is undertaken remotely. Research suggests online learning has been shown to increase retention of information and take less time. President of the Chartered Institute of Bankers Ghana is Reverend Patricia Sapo. Change is the only constant thing in life and um, in as much as the whole world has been taken on our way by this COVID-19. I think it also has its upsides. Put in place an online learning platform in line with the changing trend in the digital space. Platforms such as Microsoft Teams, Zoom Cloud, Google Meet and Skype are being deployed in online teaching and learning. When it comes to online learning, the issue of cost, the high cost of data, is of concern to most Ghanaians. The Chartered Institute of Bankers Ghana, which is in the virtual learning space, has revealed online learning should be done in three phases to make it cost effective. First is to upload the script or note to the student for reading. The second phase is sending videos of the teacher explaining the notes that had already been sent to the student. The third and final phase is the interactive session between the learners and the teachers. And this takes a limited time because students are already familiar with the subject. Now this virtual learning platform has made it possible for them to connect anytime or at a specific time. It's got a lot of cost in the sense and time, in the sense that travel time has reduced. With this sudden shift away from the classroom in many parts of the world, some are wondering whether the adoption of online learning will continue post-pandemic. How would such a shift impact the world education market? Eben Ajekumbwating, TV3, Accra.